VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. So this yeah, one here, here. Yeah, I know. What's, what's going on? I'm not sure if I can handle this. Brad's almost prepared. So this one here, we actually spotlighted this one, I think, three years ago. So I thought it was a, a worthy one to, to re reestablish because three years ago it had like 100,000 installs and now it has like almost 500,000 installs. But this gives you a bunch of really useful, very friendly file management tools right inside of VS Code. And so sometimes it works pretty nicely, um, you know, VS Code natively, but with the command palette, you can do a lot more things. You can, you know, close folders, delete, duplicate, move, open, recent, rename. Um, but I thought this was pretty cool. You also can do brace expansion. So when you... That's something I've wanted to add to command box for a while. Yeah, something so that Bash does. So yeah, in the file name input, if you do slash temp slash and then do parentheses and do like curly's a comma b comma c curly slash index dot and then cpp comma ts comma you know scss curlies, what it does is it basically will loop through the curly brace ones, and so then it creates you a temp slash folder for a b and c, and inside of that it makes a file for index cpp. SCSS and TS. So it generates them all for all of them. So I was like, this could be really cool for scaffolding out stuff. And I wonder if we could use that on top of other stuff we're already using in command box to like scaffold out, out things. Instead of just creating one controller, we could basically have, you know, like five or six handlers being generated based on this convention. You could basically give it the different names of it with curly braces and we'll loop through and give you multiples or something. Anyway, basically, it creates the Cartesian product of both sets or all sets, rather. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So that was one thing. And then obviously, you've got the normal commands in here and some configuration. But yeah, it works pretty nicely. And a lot of people have been using it for a while. And uh, John Coulson recommended this one. And he says it's like one of the must haves for VS Code. So I thought that was worth you know, it, reminding people of how cool is this it is. extension used solely from the little command palette where you type commands? So I don't know. I don't know if it actually adds things into your normal menu. Uh, I think I actually have it installed, and I have had it installed for three or four years now. So I don't even know which ones are native and which ones aren't anymore. But um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Okay, because I'm just sitting here watching the little animated GIF, and it looks like everything they're doing is through the command palette. So I'm just curious. Yeah, I know there is. I know there's one at least that does add additional functionality to your right-click context menu, but I don't know. That thing is so many, so many uh, cool VS Code hints and tips. But we'll try and you know bring them all back up. Because whatever I do is usually I reinstall fresh every once in a while and just put on the ones I know I need. That way I can see what's actually native. Because sometimes the extensions we used to use aren't needed anymore because VS Code does a lot of that now too. Yeah, you gotta watch out if you go crazy installing all of the um, all of the extensions in the world. Uh, they'll start to bog down VS Code. I uh, I installed like a VS Code update yesterday, and it restarted like ten VS Code windows, and it just like hammered my CPU for like three minutes. And I was like, "What the heck?" And I looked at my my Windows Task Manager, and I had this Red Hat Java extension that was running some Java process in like each of those VS Code windows as they were starting up. And I was like, what the heck? So I went and I disabled that extension and all of a sudden VS Code got a lot faster. So um, there is there can be a downside that is installing every single extension you come across if they, uh, if they add overhead to the startup time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially when you're running multiple, multiple windows. And uh, maybe we can talk about the project manager next week and then uh, help you switch windows easier. So... Anyway, that's our VS Code Hint Tip Trick of the Week. That was our VS Code Hint Tip and Trick of the Week, brought to you by Modernize and Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizeordie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.